Hello everybody, how are we all? I'm excited to film today's video because I've had these bags sitting here for ages and I've been so excited to show you all what I've got. So today, as you can tell by the title, I have got a Primark haul. So I recently went up to Birmingham to visit my partner Jacob and because he was working up there and obviously they have I, I i know it used to be i feel like it still is but i can't be certain it's like the biggest primark um in the uk so of course i just had to have a little dabble about in there i got these on two separate occasions i didn't get them all in the same day because i did the first floor on one day and then came back uh, a couple of days later to do the rest of the store but I've got two bags and filming a thumbnail was difficult because this one's quite heavy I have a very random array of things let's just dive in and see what we've got I'm gonna go straight in with the clothes and then we'll move on to the other bits and pieces these bags have been through suitcases and everything like there is actually <laughs> ripping them first thing I got was this little jacket and I saw it on the hanger and I was instantly drawn to it because it's like a um, the best way to describe it would be it's like a cardigan material but it doesn't look like a cardigan this little jacket and it's got a collar and then it's got the black buttons down the front can you see the buttons and then it's got these little two pockets oh they're real as well two little pockets on either side like sleeves that a cardigan would normally have and this was i'm going to say the prices and the sizes for everything so just be aware that i will be talking about sizes just because i find it very handy for reference i know when i'm watching um hauls of clothes and stuff I like to know what size they got just so I can sort of roughly estimate what I would need. So this I got in a medium. It was £19. But they also had it in cream, which maybe I should have got, I don't know. Sticking to the theme of jackets or jumpers, I picked up this little green, it's like a sage, would you, would you say this is a sage? I actually FaceTimed my sister when I was buying this because I was like, what do you think of it? And on camera, she actually did say she thought it was grey, but it is um, a green. And then what I loved about it at the back, it's got this little bow and it's like a V-neck at the back. And then across the top, you've got this little ribbon here that goes into a bow. I thought this was so pretty. The only thing I'm cautious about, I will say, is it feels a bit itchy. I got this one in a 2XS and it was £17. They also had it in this more creamy colour. So I picked this one up. It is going to be a bit see-through, so you'd need sort of maybe a little top underneath or like a beige bra. Um, but yeah, I thought this one was very cute. I loved this. And then the little white bow at the back but this one I got this was 17 pounds obviously again but this one I got in a medium so I thought this one could be a bit more cropped a little bit more fitted but then I sort of wanted a more oversized baggy one my camera just did die so I'm hoping that I've got you in pretty much the same position but if it seems a bit off that'll be why I got this little cardigan and I think it's so cute just this little one i love that it buttons up all the way to the top because some cardigans are like open like a v-neck i love it i think it's so cute i just love it because you can wear it unbuttoned with a little top underneath or you could literally just wear it like that i love it and this was see this was i this was only 13 pounds which i think is really good for a cardigan um, and it's not too thin, it's thicker than the jumpers, a lot thicker. So for £13 actually, it's very good. And I got this in a size small. Just get one more jumper now. This is something that I see a lot of people wear and I think it looks so nice. Not sure how I feel about it on me. 
but we'll see. And it's a jumper that has like a shirt underneath. And this is what it looks like. So it's got the little white collar. And then underneath, here you've got the shirt poking out. I really liked it. I saw it on the hanger. The only thing I will say that put me off was that I didn't like how long this bit of the shirt was. I wish it was kind of just slightly poking through. I just really liked how the white collar looked with the grey and I just think that this could look so cute. This was £15 and this is in a size medium. Then the last two items of clothing I got were jeans. I did see a really nice power pair of trousers in there which I kind of regret not getting. They were like a pair of little smart trousers but you know I obviously went past them for a reason. <laughs> These light blue straight leg jeans. Now I love straight leg jeans, I love what they look like on other people, I just find it really difficult to find a right fit for me, but I thought we'd give them a go. I really like the colour, and then they've got little pockets at the back, and yeah, and they go straight down. So they didn't look too long either, because I'm not very tall, um, so sometimes they can be rather baggy, but... This should be okay. These in a size 10 and these were £16. Another pair of jeans. These are a similar type of blue but they're more on, they're not as light, they've sort of got the dark little bits around here and these are just mum jeans. I love a good pair of mum jeans so I thought I would try these. Now I have risked it a little bit these were £14 and I got these in a size 8. Normally I always get a size 10 in jeans and I always get Primark mum jeans. But after a few washes they become very baggy around the waist. So I thought I would go down a size and see what they're like. I mean I could be hoping for a little too much there but we will, we will see. Got a little mug. Now I loved the home section because our local Primark is actually, I remember when I was returning something there and I got talking to the woman and she was like, this is actually the smallest Primark in the UK. And I was like, that's just my luck. <laughs> um, so our home section is nearly non-existent. So I was having a ball of a time in their home section and I found this little mug as I was on my way out actually and this was only three pounds and I have a thing with mugs where I just love them and my mum's always like how many mugs do you need but I love it I just think it's so cute I love the little colour and then you've got all these little flowers all the little flowers on there it's a pretty decent size and for three pounds you can't go wrong really and then I went into the little beauty section because again ours isn't very big and I picked up a few bits and pieces some of them that I hadn't actually seen before I picked up these little almond gloss nails and I just thought the little details like look I think that's so cute um, and there's only £1.20, so I thought this well, it's worth a try, even if they only stay on for a couple of days. They're very cute. And then I got these pink ones, because as I bought these, I was actually currently wearing the exact ones, but they were in white. And these were £2, and they're just this little gloss pink um, little nails. And I love, see, this size is just perfect for me. I used to be a long nail girly. I don't know how I did it. <laughs> I'm all for the short ones now. I think that I think they just look so cute and they just yeah, I don't know how I did the long nails. I don't know. We've got a few bits of makeup. So first thing I picked up was this sheer hydration nourishing lip gloss balm and lip gloss. And this was £3.50. And so you get the balm on this side and then you get the lip gloss on this side. I picked up this, which is the Lip Exfoliator and Plumping Lip Gloss, 
which I'm very excited to try. Not sure why it's in this packaging and not a box, but, and this was three pounds and I've never like seen a lip exfoliator before. So I'm gonna give that a go. And then the plumping lip gloss, we'll just, we'll see what it does. This foundation, which I've never seen before. Um, they only have like one foundation in our Primark. So I really wanted to try this because I really liked the sound of it. It is the airbrush foundation, full coverage, weightless, infused with hyaluronic acid and vitamin E. This was only six pounds. I got it in the shade Cool Beige. Fingers crossed it's kind of, you know, my skin tone. Hopefully we can work with it. And I just really wanted to try it because I have the only foundation they have in Primark, in our Primark, is not full coverage and sometimes I just love a bit of full coverage. So airbrush foundation, full coverage, weightless, like it, it sold me. And I like to have a foundation that's sort of cheap because I have higher end foundations but I don't like to use them all the time because I'm like, this is too much, this is too expensive to just be using every day. So I like to have one on the side that I can just use for like out and about and I'm still searching for a good one. So maybe this could be the one. Then to go with that, I also got the concealer and this is just liquid concealer, medium coverage with caffeine and vitamin E. This was only £2.50. I got this in the shade Ivory because I wanted it lighter for under my eyes. Hopefully it's not too light, we'll, we'll see. I used to actually be really pale when I was younger and I would be like, I would literally be ivory or I'd be porcelain. And now, now I'm nowhere near that. Um, but the fact that I used to be that pale, it's crazy. I'm excited to try these like little things. So I'm actually considering doing a little video of like trying Primark makeup and like, you know, little face things and bits and bobs. So if you would be interested in seeing that, let me know any products from there you would like me to try. And I will be more than happy to film that because like, I love testing new things. So that could be quite fun. Back to more random array of things. I found these little nails for £1.50 and they're little like kids press on nails. So there's no glue involved or anything. So I got these for my niece for her birthday and she loves anything to do with animals or fishes and things like that. So they've got little starfishes on, they've got um, an octopus or is it a squid? I don't know, a shell. And whenever I have my nails on, she always looks at them and she's like, oh, they're so pretty. And she'll sit there and like really like look at them. So I thought these would be really fun for her. I also found her this little necklace. Now, once again, I wear a necklace and it's got all these little beads on and she's so fascinated by it. And she was like, can you try and find me one? And I just come across this. It's not really exactly like mine, but I think she'll like it. It's very cute. And this was only two pounds and you get this little beaded necklace. And then you get this little chain one and I got a P for Phoebe. Then I was very excited when I saw this, but I don't know if this is gonna, like this is from a long time ago. So if you're young, you might not know what this is, but if you're a little bit older, you're probably gonna know what this is. Groovy chick, who remembers this? Please comment down below if you remember Groovy chick. Like we used to have the bed sheets and everything like, oh my gosh, I could not believe it when I saw this. Just this little handy like travel bag. You could put makeup in it, you can put hair stuff in it. It's very spacious, which is what I liked. Very spacious. And they also had a tote bag, which was like so cute. When I tell you, I was so close to buying it. That was four pounds. I nearly bought it and then I was like, no, you've got like three tote bags. You don't need another one. We can just, we'll just have this because this is actually something that I could really do with because all my like little travel bags or just things that I keep stuff in is too small. And I love that this is like a fabric-y material um, because then it kind of stretches so you can use it a bit more. And it's actually inside here, you've got two little pockets. No, you don't, sorry, you just have one big pocket. 
So I love that. And this was six pounds, I believe. Yeah, this was six pounds. Now, the next few things. See, I say they're quite early. Not really. It's only like two months and a tiny bit early. And I have found some Halloween bits and bobs. I found headbands. Now, me and my sister, there is a vlog of it um, from last year. We had a Halloween movie night. We went full out mattress downstairs decorated the whole room had so much halloween food watched all the halloween like types of movies like you know the old ones like um halloween town hocus pocus haunted mansion we started the goosebump series and we had like we had like halloween crackers and we had headbands and then i come across these ones and i was like these would be perfect for this year so my sister has got these little pumpkin ones and these were £2.50 each, but this is like a thick, sturdy headband. Like, I think that's so cute. I love the little, like, frill around here. And then I have these ones, which is a bit of a thinner headband. This was still £2.50. And they're little bats. I think that's so cute. So, maybe a little bit early, but once you've, like, once you've got them, you've got them. Talking of early, I did go into B&M yesterday, and there's a whole Christmas aisle. They're selling advent calendars, they're selling gingerbread houses, they're selling hot chocolate stations. I love, I love Christmas. It's my favourite, favourite time of the year, and I will always celebrate it very early. But we are still in August, so... And I also found this little Halloween bunting, which was £2, and it's actually Nightmare Before Christmas. And I love it because you have the Happy Halloween here, and then here you have all of them types of, um, like, pom-pom ball paper things, and you've got all the characters. And I just think that's so cool. So I picked that up because I didn't know when I would find it again. Last thing I got... The last thing of this haul, the video will be finished soon, I got a candle. It's a little boo candle, so a little Halloween one. I think it's so cute. And then it's got this little ghost on the top with this little pumpkin. And it smells, it literally smells of like autumn. It smells of Halloween. I don't know what the scent is. It doesn't actually say, oh no, it does. It does, I just picked it up anyway and didn't even look. It's a apple and cinnamon. It was five pounds, but I thought it was really handy because I can use this like every year because I can just use it as decor after because it's in such a beautiful tub. And now I'm just like, please can it be autumn because oh my gosh. But yeah, that is everything. I do let me know if you would like to see a video of me trying some of the primer products. And you can always come and follow me on my Instagram, which will be linked down below, but this is my instagram i really hope you enjoyed this video i'm sending you all my love but thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in the next video bye